everyone. It's Chelsea from Paper Octio Studio, and welcome to day 14 of the hashtag AJOS Peculiar, Peculiar Persona Challenge for October 2021. This is a daily uh, art journaling challenge with prompts. The prompts are um, names, goofy names um, that give you kind of a hint of what type of character it should be. And you just can make the characters in any way you want. Uh, you can draw them, you can collage them, you can cut them out in magazines or use pre-printed materials. It doesn't matter. It's just uh, a fun way to art journal every day in October 2021. So to start today's page, I used a little brayer. Um, this is the Arranger brayer. It's a small one. And I'm using some acrylic paints in uh, light turquoise and then a regular turquoise and then Naples yellow to just get some color on the page. You know, um, sometimes you look at the blank page and you're just like, wow, I don't know what to do. So just grabbing a brayer and throwing some colors that you like on the page is a great way to start if you don't already have something on it. So after I brayered on some colors, I decided to do a little bit of stenciling, and so I grabbed this Stencil Girl stencil. Um, I'll tell you which one it is in the description box below, hopefully, if I remember to put in the links. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head which one it is, but it's got kind of a plants and floral type theme, and I'm just using sections of it here and there to to just give a little bit of pattern to the background. I'm not trying to make these pages super, super complicated. I want to do them in roughly an hour each day. And so I've been using a lot of stenciling and collage and stuff like that to do my pages because it makes them fairly fun and quick and relaxing. That's the idea behind art journaling is experimentation, practice, and relaxation and um, stress relief. So art journaling is great for the, all those things. Today's prompt name is Latifa Finch. And of course, Finch being a bird, I thought I could draw a Finch because that's a fairly easy and quick shape to draw. It's just kind of a teardrop with a little bit of a bump at the end and um, I looked up on the Googles what uh, color a finch is, and they're yellow and black. Uh, there's probably more than one kind, but the one that I found was yellow and black. And so I did use that uh, little picture of a finch as a, a um, inspiration picture, you know, to, to draw from, to get the colors right and this, the shape um, it's there on my little iPad in front of me. You can't see it, but I have an, an iPad mini and it's like right there on my desk and I have the picture pulled up on the iPad mini so that I can kind of draw. Uh, using my, um, oh, what, what, pen, what, this is a Graph Gear, Graph Gear 1000 mechanical pencil to draw with. I've got a white eraser. I erase a lot when I'm drawing. Um, it's a thing. <laughs> and <clears throat> my paper is eight and a half by five and a half. It's not quite big enough at the bottom, so I'll end up having to draw a few things at the bottom that aren't on the page. <clears throat> then I wanted to make uh, Miss Finch into a proper lady. So I put a skirt on her that ties in the back. Maybe it's an apron. I gave her a purse, of course, and some pearls. And, of course, a fascinator uh, church hat <clears throat> so that she would be very proper and, um, uh, you know, a fashionable young lady because, yes, she's off to do her shopping and she needs to look proper so that she can go to the store in case a young gentleman finch might catch her eye. So she needs to be super special. So then for coloring... I just decided to use my Neocolor 2 watercolor, water soluble crayons. These things are great. They have watercolor on them and you can just kind of draw them onto the paper and then blend it with either a paintbrush dipped in water or in this case, a water brush, which 
is a brush that has water in the barrel and you just squeeze it. I uh, use these so much for everything. I love them. So I'm just using that. So I'm coloring in the areas where uh, the color should be using the crayon directly on the paper. Now this is not watercolor paper. It is paper from the printer. So it does buckle a little bit. I am using my heat tool to dry it quickly so that I don't get too much um, weird damage to the paper. I'm not going over it a lot and I'm making sure that in between the layers of color that I plan to blend that I am uh, drying it in between. If you leave the paper wet and then you go to put darker colors on the top for some sh shading and blending, uh, it will tear and you know pill up the paper and make a mess. So I am using my heat tool to dry it quickly in between. It's a good little tip for you if you're going to use just regular old paper <laughs> like this because it's really not designed to absorb water and it will cause you a problem. I'm also um, as I'm coloring each section, being careful not to get the water brush on the other part. Like if I let the water brush bump into the black part, then that will smear. These are water soluble products. They will continue to be reactivated until the end of time. Um, unless you seal it, it's something that can be definitely damaged by water. So you just got to be a little bit careful. I'm also using my Stabilo All Pencil. I like my illustrations to have lines around the outside. So I use that with in conjunction with the watercolor because I think it looks just looks more um, the same, like rather than using a paint pen to do my illustration. And then I knew I had that blue green on the page. So I decided to make her outfit and purse and a hat in a red orange because that is a complementary color to blue green uh, which I thought would look nice a nice contrast on the paper I re redrew the purse because it was obviously off the page down at the bottom being held in her little um, talon so I'm using a couple different colors and blending them together to give the idea of light and dark on the fabric you know, the fabric bends and, and you know, flows around. It's not going to look all one flat color. So I put the darker red orange around the edges and then filled it in with a lighter um, red orange and blended those two together with the water to get that type of a look. I also made the pendant on her pearls the same color. Um, obviously the ties of the dress in the back and the hat and the purse, all the same colors. She's very stylish, Miss Latifa Finch. Very, very stylish. I'm sure that some uh, young gentleman fit, Finch will be very attracted to her while she's out shopping and they will probably get coffee or something. So then I cut out everything uh, with my sharp little scissors and I'm going to glue them to the page using my Yoohoo glue stick. This is a stick that seems to be working really well in my art journals. Of course, you wouldn't want to use it on some type of permanent art unless you're planning on sealing it over the top or something because, I mean, it is a glue stick, but it is a really good glue stick and I recommend it. So glued everything down. I'm using a slightly dry but still a little bit damp um, baby wipe to press everything down. It is, because it's a little bit wet, it is disturbing the, uh, the paint a little bit, the crayon, and so I will have to touch up some. And then now I'm drawing the bottom part. Um, I need to extend out the tail. I need to draw the talons. Um, and then obviously she needs something to perch on because you can't just float into air unless your wings are out and her wings aren't out. She's got them tucked. So she needs a branch. So when you're drawing something like a branch, you don't want to just make a straight line, right? You want something organic. So I made it curvy and, uh, you know, like a real branch would be. And then I'm touching up where I wiped off some of the color, making sure that everything is 
is all tidy. Filming in the tail, the talons. She's got to have that talon uh, coming from the other side to hold her purse because she needs her bird seed to exchange for other bird seed at the store. Because obviously, you know, if you've got sesame seeds, you could trade them for, you know, sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds. It's it's not the same because the sesame seeds are smaller, so you got to give more of those for for fewer of the other seeds, and that's how it works at the bird store, right? <laughs> this this challenge is both challenging me and also entertaining me this month. Um, I think it's really fun to make up characters and make up the stories that go to them in my head as I'm art journaling. This is very relaxing. It stretches my creativity. I'm having a great time. So I hope everyone else is having a great time and you're playing along with Art Joy of Sharing Art Community on Facebook. That's where this challenge comes from. And if you haven't joined yet, down below the video is, of course, a link and you can ask to join, answer the questions that pop up when you're asked to join. So I did get out the Posca pin a little bit. Uh, I needed to add some sprigs to her her hat because you've got to have those flowing out from back behind. It just looks cooler that way. So I did that with a fine tip Posca pin in black. And I I used it on the eye and a few other places. I've also, I'm have also i also going to get out the white and do some highlighting of my illustration. It's just a little bit less messy than the other type of pin, of course. I realized that I hadn't uh, made the back of her skirt attach at the back there, so I had to fix that. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, please remember to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment or a question below. I usually answer within uh, 24 hours. And of course, you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, I do a lot of things on this channel. I have a lot of mixed media. I've got uh, art journaling, altered items, you know, all kinds of things that, that are interesting and fun to watch and it's free content. So have no fear of subscribing and turning on your notification bells so that you can know when something new is coming out. So this is my white Posca pen, of course, and I am doing like sketchy highlights that I like to do when I illustrate. I colored the branch with a, uh, three different colors of the brown Neocolor 2 water soluble crayon, blended those out to make it look more branchy. And getting my highlights going, and then I decide that I do need something else to fill up the page. I decide to make leaves and branches have leaves, right? So I got out my basket that has greens in it and pulled out a few scraps. And then I'm just going to cut those into leaf shapes, which is just kind of like a teardrop with pointy ends and just freehand cutting a few different colors and then gluing those on with my glue stick here and there to, you know, fill out the tree a little bit because trees need leaves or else they won't live. So I gotta get the, the chlorophyll and um, you know stuff from the leaves. I've got kind of a, a medium, a dark, and a light green. The light one's a little bit more of an olive color but it blends nicely with that yellow in the background, that Naples yellow acrylic paint. And I'm gluing them down really quickly. Bam, bam, bam. There you go. <laughs> I decided to make another branch with a lot of leaves on it here in the back because that space over there just looked empty to me. So I needed to balance out the composition with a little bit more something something. So I made kind of a little uh, sticky type branch coming off. Went around all the leaves with my Stabilo All Pencil. Add a little bit more crayon. Blendy blendy. You know, like you do. <laughs> Turned out that this one was copper and had a little bit metallic. I meant to grab that other one. So then I had to thread it through the branch a little bit because it would look funny if there was metallic in only one spot. And 
I think at the very end, uh, I wrote I wrote Miss Latifa Finch on there. I know that. And I think off camera, I added some Stickles glitter glue in a uh, a transparent. Um, I think on her jewelry and her hat, a little bit of bling bling just to you know make her more special. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.